Okay guys, we're here on West 73rd Street between Columbus and Amsterdam. They had a e-bike on fire. Uh, they might have gotten it out, I'm not sure. They said they were gonna spray it. I'm not sure about that either. But we are confirming we do have an aided down on a platform. Let me go see what the situation is. See if they have a line stretched and so forth and so on. I can smell it. I don't know really who they said it was on the first floor in the beginning, but then they said it might be outside, so we'll see. Alright, the battalion just called for a hazmat response. They got the bike out here. It looks like it's out. It looks like they sprayed it. We're gonna have, to have Hazmat come and get the battery out. All right, guys, I am going to do a small video. Um, there's the battery on the floor. They took the bike away, but the battery is still there. So the chief called for a hazmat response. So they're going to come and take care of it. Uh, engine 44 with the uh, HMTU and hazmat 1 and 2. Hazmat 1 in the second piece. Um, the units are going to start taking up. Uh, I think that maybe the engine will stay uh, with the battery. Very small, but half and have to come and check it out. I'll be right back. And so far... They're gonna bring the second piece down the HMTU. They are releasing Hazmat 1 and its second piece and the Hazmat Battalion. They're gonna uh, overpack it in a little drum, I'm sure, or a little speedy dry. The rest of the 
some members are already down there. Uh, I'm gonna go down there and watch out, uh, check out the situation for you guys. You guys seen this before. It's not a big deal. Uh, I mean, it's a big deal that it, bikes are burning and inside buildings and stores and whatnot. But the packing up situation is not that big of a thing. They pull out the little black drum, pour in the solution. Look at this poor fella. He didn't have a very good ending there. Uh, the battalion chief is going to oversee the situation. Let me see what they're going to pull out. I don't know what they're pulling out. They got the little drum. The real small drum. That's the smallest one I've ever seen. That's the battalion team chief right there talking. So they had a uh, lot of 35 on this box. Engine 40. The guys are over here. Engine 44 back there. HMTU 44. Uh, hazmat 1 and second piece with the hazmat battalion were canceled. And uh, they're packing it up, covering it up, make sure it's all covered up. And then they'll put the lid on it and they put it to the side and then everybody goes home. They removed the, the battery from the bike, the guy with the bike. Took off. that's gonna fit in there or if they need another one but either way
they're gonna take it with them or do something else with it. I don't know what they're going to do with it. They're probably going to put it on a sidewalk and leave it over there. They mark it up and then they uh, take up. Everybody's gonna leave. Oh, I don't know if I said it or not. They took the bike and they put it underneath here. They didn't stretch a line. They opened the the hose, I mean the uh, hydrant here, and they wet it down until it was out completely. When they brought it out of the building, it was not flaming anymore, but it was still smoking. So they did that like that. Cody's taking up. I'm gonna go see over there where all the hoopla was. Uh, these guys are gonna probably pick up. And then I'm gonna go show you guys over there. I'm gonna go over there and show you guys where all the hoopla was.
I'm gonna go over here where the um, situation took place and you can see over here I got here just before they just a little bit after the the uh, they put it out I don't know who used the uh, dry cam but I think that was out before the fire department got here Jimmy, do you want me to make a right? it uh, they sprayed it uh, I yeah, there's a fire extinguisher. So somebody sprayed it with that fire extinguisher. It looks like it was already burning the garbage. So it started to extend. So if it would have burnt the garbage and that would have been going and nobody was here, we're going to the cars and blah, blah, blah. So it burned some of the garbage here and some of the garbage there. And obviously it was here. It was never inside the building like they said. They said it was inside, but it really wasn't. Uh, it charred the whole sidewalk situation here. And uh, so forth and so on. So even though I didn't catch any smoke or flames, you see how this all works out and what they have to do and the operation uh, to get these ion lithium batteries out or packed away for removal so with that said i'll show you the little canister where it's at you saw the details here i don't know if this little canister belongs to it i'm not sure doesn't look like it that looks like that came out out of the garbage so there's the charring garbage was catching fire so forth and so on as you can see there's the empty canister somebody from the building must have uh, used that there's dust everywhere all over the cars and there it is uh, a box 1036 they label them and they call for somebody to pick them up uh, so there that is all right, with that said, two and two. We're going to see you all on the other side at the next scene. All right, so I um, came down here, and there's the bike itself. Uh, it looks a lot worse closer up. It did char the whole bike and stuff like that. They're going to try to save it. Uh, they took the battery away and it self combusted they weren't doing anything with it so just give you guys a little glimpse the batteries go in there and that's where the uh, trouble starts when they self combust all right